Welcome back. All right, the one thing we want you to know is adopt, don't shop. That's what the Mega Pet Adoption Event wants you to do between now and Sunday at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds. Lindsay Lane Decker with the Humane Society is here. Lindsay, we always love having you, of course, because you bring special friends. Of course, <laughs> yes. Everyone loves when I show up because I'm never yeah. without a furry friend. Exactly. And who do you have here? This is Sour Patch. Oh, um, I love it. She's uh, actually, she's very, very sweet. Yeah. Um, she's one of the many kittens we have available for adoptions over at the Mega Pet Adoptions. So speaking of the Mega Pet Adoption, this mm -hmm. is a really big event. Yes. Um, can you tell us how many pets are actually going to be up for adoption at this event? Well, there's lots of rescues and shelter groups there. So there's probably, I would guess, there's over 500 pets there right oh, now. Wow. wow. And then as more get adopted, we bring more in. So there's plenty to choose from, something for everybody. Oh, that is very dangerous for me because I already have a dog at home, but I want all of them. Yeah, well, you're I gonna want come all. with me after this. And we'll I know, find you a I know. Second. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's talk about the fees because that's very mm -hmm. important. Even if you want all of them, your bank account might not be able to afford all of them. <laughs> right. So what yes. are the fees associated? Well, it's very affordable. Um, it's a $20 fee and that covers awesome. um, the pet being spayed and neutered, vaccinated and microchipped, which is a wonderful savings deal. Wow. Yeah, because um, what does that typically cost someone? Um, In the hundreds of dollars, wow. so at 150 minimum. So yeah. it's, it's a great savings. And and you're saving a life as well. Yeah. Um, so it's very affordable and we have some other free specials as well. And you got something for our, our vets too, right? And yes. active military? Um, active, retired, current military members um, can adopt for free, which is a wonderful thing. They take care of us, we'll take care of them. Yeah. So it's a, a great time to add somebody to your family. Definitely. And so kind of explain, because I mean, you see new families come in and bring and adopt a dog or a cat all the time. What is mm -hmm. that like for you to see how happy they leave? It's extremely rewarding. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's why in animal welfare, it's why we do what we do. Everything's for the animals to put them in loving homes. And, um, you know, people always ask, they're like, how do you not end up with a million, you know, pets yourself? But it's because so right. many people in Jacksonville turn up, you know, to these adoptions and give them homes. Yeah. So it's just, it warms your heart. Yeah. So I'm, Alex has always had yeah. uh, Piper for a Piper. while, mm -hmm. but I haven't. So mm -hmm. do you have any advice for you know, new pet owners? Yeah, the great thing about doing adoptions with the Jacksonville Humane Society is that we pair you with a counselor. So any individual questions that you might have, we can definitely answer on the spot. But I would say, you know, don't be afraid, don't be intimidated, come and see us. Just if you've never owned a pet before, we're not gonna judge you, right. or, you know, <laughs> put, put you through the ringer. We wanna meet you, we wanna help you find a pet. So just come with an open mind and let us know how we can help. Definitely. And so now what are some of the volunteer opportunities that you have through this event? Um, there's lots of volunteer opportunities. Uh, the events run by First Coast No More Homeless Pets. Okay. Um, so you can sign up to volunteer with them. And we have volunteers 365 days a year at the Jacksonville Humane Society. So um, if you're interested in doing more than just one event, there's plenty to do there. Walk dogs, cuddle cats, you name it. That's awesome. So you have the opportunity to, to volunteer here or even outside of this event then. Exactly. Yes. And what about donations? If people want to, you know, donate versus maybe volunteering or maybe doing both. Yeah, donations are, you know, a great way to sustain the compassionate care that we provide to animals. And you can donate um, online, jacksonmean.org, or while you're adopting, um, you know, you can go ahead and give a donation there. Everything from a dollar to a hundred dollars makes a difference. So there's lots of different ways to give back. Do you ever take supplies also at the Mean Society? We do, okay. yes. We have a wish list on our website. Um, pet food is a great one. We do a pet food bank for a lot of nice. um, seniors and uh, people on disability. Yeah. So you can always drop off anything to us. Basically, if a dog or cat can use it, we'll take it. And there's some specialty things too. So if you hop on our website, you'll see some of the bizarre things that you never think we <laughs> need, like chlorine and Q-tips. Right. But yeah. yeah, we'll take it. Okay, so really quickly, all the event details, what time and where? Yes, it's um, downtown at the Jacksonville Fairgrounds, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 6. Um, pet adoptions are $20 or free from military and parking is free as well. Awesome. awesome. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much for joining us. And yeah. Sour Patch, she's so sweet. I love her. You guys can get another look at this segment a little bit later today. Just head over to firstcoastliving.net.